Hey everyone, welcome back to Inkmatic, back here with another portfolio update. This week we're going to talk about how the portfolio has performed, stocks that I'm, I'm looking to increase my position in, and uh, the rest will probably just be a hold and keep, to be honest. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So as you can see right now, I'm on 19% of my ISO utilization. The portfolio stands at £3,466.63p. I've invested £3,769.95p. The return at the moment is currently negative. I'm down £303.32p. That's about 8.05%. So this week, my portfolio has been hit hard. So yeah, let's just dive in. So as you can see, AMD is actually up 0.49%, which is good. Airbus has dropped to 99.82 euros. And for me, I want to increase this position by at least to 0.6 of a share. I feel like it is quite a good price now and Airbus is... Obviously, the travel industry has been hit hard um, with the coronavirus, but in terms of this, I'd be pretty happy to increase my position in this. This is like a one of three or four shares that I'll be increasing my position in this week. Um, so yeah, it's 0 0.4. I've got 0 0.45 shares. I'm down £5.48p. That's 12.37%. My average price at the moment is 115 euro, uh, euros and 50 cents. Um, so yeah, I'll be looking to increase this position. Alibaba, potentially, oh, this is throwing a spanner in the works, to be honest. Um, potentially, I might increase this a little bit, maybe by 0 0.9, depends on what's left over apart from my investment round. But yeah, that's not doing so well. It's down 3.86%. Uh, that's £8.23. I do think Alibaba will probably fall a little bit more um, before I start buying in. Um, I want it to drop down to below the, the 200 point. Alliance of Pharma um, is down 12.55%. So obviously, I purchased them at 86p. Um so potentially on Monday, I'll look and probably round that up to 10 shares or something. Actually, I might just buy two because it's not really what I want for right now. Alphabet is probably quite a good price to buy on at the moment, to be honest. It is down 2.69%. So potentially, I might be able to increase my position in that, but I probably won't. Um, Amex... I want to increase this by 0 0.1 share, so, but I think that'll be over the next few weeks, not per se this week, um, sorry, next week. BAE Systems is dropped massively, it's, um, but it's still up 9.98% for me. I'm still up £3.25, so if we look at the last week, it has just tumbled quite a bit. Um, they do pay quite a good dividend yield, so I'm looking for it to go around the £5.50 before I start increasing my position in it. Um, Barrett's is still doing quite well. It's up 23.65%. Boeing is actually another one that I want to increase my position in. So I want to probably increase it and probably get to 1.2 shares. Um, at the moment, I'm down 19.87%. That's £56.74p. So the way I see it is if I can increase my position to hopefully about one5 eventually over the next few weeks, um, and that will obviously bring my average average cost down, and that will be a long hold stock for me. BP, um, it's down to 3.95. Again, potentially, it's one of the stocks that I'll be looking to increase my position, but not so... Happily, it might be over the next month or two months. Same with British Land as well. It is down 16.35%. I'm down £32 on it. Current price is at 471 so massive drop, to be honest. BT is also doing pretty poor as well. Um, my average price is at £1.69. 
and I'm down 22.68%. That's 50 pounds and 68p. So that's quite a hefty chunk, to be honest. Um, Cloudflare is probably the only one that's actually doing going up during this crisis, to be honest. Um, I'm up 21.72%. That's 52 pounds and 42p. I've decided that I'm not going to sell these shares for um for a while now um i'll be looking to increase the position but only if the prices drop um but for for right now um i'm not selling any shares they're pretty much same with direct line direct line is a strong healthy company it's still up 15.3 percent for me i'm up 41 pounds and 67 p i've got 100 shares in it and for me it's a long hold dividend stock play for that one uh, moving down, we've got Drax Group, which is that I've got 15 shares in it and I'm down 5.95%. That's £2.45 in the red. Deer Smith is down 6.7%. That is £4.86p in the red. GlaxoSmithKline, this is something that I kind of want to increase my position in, but I'm not quite sure yet. Anyway, so I've got one share. Yeah, I got one share. Um, sixteen pounds current price. I'm down three point oh three percent. So GlaxoSmithKline, I've got one share. I'm down three point oh three percent. That's fifty p. Greencore UK Wind. I'm up two point one six percent. That's fifteen p. Hastings Direct. I'm down quite a bit on this. Um, let's dive into it. So current price is now at like one pound and sixty one p. Obviously, I brought them around two pound. Uh, sorry, one pound and seventy three p. I'm down seven point three percent. That's twelve pounds and sixty five p. Physical gold is up eleven point three oh three percent, which is good. I'm up two pound and forty nine p. Potentially, I might look at selling this one because it, it does look like it's at an all time high. And then probably use it to go into something else, but I don't know, like right now it's going up, so I might just utilize it. Lloyd's Banking Group, I do want to get to about 500 shares in this. It has tanked a lot. Um, I'm down 16.75%, that's £44.62p. and That's actually quite a lot. Ooh, yeah, that is quite a lot. Um, so I'll be looking to increase this... Um, Hopefully, when it gets to around 45, I'll buy like another 15 shares, round up to a nice 500. Lift is down 17%. Yeah, 17.72%. That's £4.75. I do think this is probably quite a good buying opportunity right now for me, anyway. I do want to round this up to a whole share. So, I'm, how much does that actually equate to? So, if I buy 0 0.2, that's only £5. So, potentially, I'll buy that on Monday. Um, I'll buy probably a tenth now on Monday and then tenth later on in the week. Mastercard is down quite a bit. Yeah, that's quite a lot actually. Um, yeah, that's down four point one four percent. Micron is also down five point seven four percent. Microsoft is down nine point five four percent. I'm down eighteen pounds and twenty three p. Um, New River Re, I'm down seventy one pounds. That's massive. Um, so if my average price is one pound eighty four, and now it's at one pound forty eight. So I might buy another five shares, get it to two hundred, and then look at averaging my cost down. Um, because I ideally want it to be around one hundred and fifty shares at most. Um, especially re with retail anyway. So. Neo is still up. I'm up one point nine three percent, which is still good. Um, over the last week, it has dropped a lot. I probably should have sold it and probably repurchased them again. But yeah, if it drops, if it goes into the red, I'll probably buy two more. Just round it up to ten. RBS is at one pound fifty eight. I've got seventy five shares. I'm down nineteen point eight four percent. That's twenty nine pounds and thirty four p. Obviously, right now I can see this is a buying opportunity, but obviously priorities lie where priorities are. Um, obviously, 
right now like i've got to prioritize on what stocks i buy and this is kind of falling towards the bottom now as a priority list Dot Shell is a good stock. Um, again, buying opportunity. I think I'm down ten point four percent. That's five pounds and fifty seven p. Siemens. Wow, that's dropped massive. Um, I probably want to increase my position in this and probably buy zero point one five about eleven pound twenty nine worth, just to get it up to one point four shares and bring my average cost down massively. Telefonica, if it drops below the five dollar mark, five euro mark, I'll probably buy one or two, just to bring that average cost down. Because I ideally want it to be about six, or five point nine. So if I buy five more, hopefully that will bring that average cost down throughout the next few months. Walt Disney, um, again, it's like been fluctuating quite a bit over the last week. I've got half a share, average price is at $127.64p. Um, I won't be increasing my position in this just because other stocks kind of, I've seen more value in the other stocks. Obviously for like long play, Disney is probably quite a good play, but I want something a little bit more short term. So yeah, that's it for my portfolio for this week. Let me know what you think. Um, also, if you want to try out Training212, you can use my referral links, um, which will be mentioned after this video or in the description. If you want to try these trading platforms, you can use my referral links. Training212 is ink.yt forward slash trading212. Or you can try the free trade one, which is ink.yt forward slash free trade. If you sign up to either, either of them, use my referral link, you'll get a free share worth up to £100 on Trading212 and up to £200 on Free Trade. See you on the next video.